Yo, what is up, D-Dub Nation, man? We are back here with another video, man. And today we have a I'm Dante video. Oh, shoot, I thought I closed off my stuff. My bad for the greasy face. I'm Dante reacts to TikTok trying to stop devilish licks. Hopefully, you can hear me. I need to get a mic, so don't judge me. And we got some nice food here. But, um, um, it's good, man. It's good. Shut that back up. Let's go. She got one of those. I didn't even know people really get that shit. Jennifer Dowder is a boat captain who gets tours of shipwrecks. She knows all about sunken treasure. Sometimes she has to put on diving gear to clean the windows of her glass bottom boat. Recently she made a discovery that shocked her. It was a small green bottle at the bottom of Michigan Sheboygan River that's nearly 100 years old. And there was a message in it. It was fully rolled and the bottle had a fork in it. So the cork was pretty badly deteriorated, and the bottle is full, of, two thirds full of water. So I knew it was going to be. I didn't look at this just for y'all. Jennifer showed us how she dealt with the water-soaked paper from the bottle. I was thinking I don't want to rip it. The paper was really wet. Lo and behold, the paper was wet. Lo and behold, the paper was really wet. Lo and behold, the paper was really wet. Turned out to be a long forgotten message from 1926. Also, with you guys. Well, hopefully, you like the video. Well, the person who finds this bottle and finds this bottle and finds this bottle and finds this bottle and finds this Can you believe it was in the water for 95 years? Jennifer posted a letter to her Facebook page, Nautical North Family Adventures, and one of those who saw it is Michelle Morrow Primo, daughter of the man who wrote the message. He did a lot of somehow things. Michelle drove five hours to meet Jennifer. I will put in my headphones. Just for you guys. See how the writing here. Matches up with his writing there. I just can't believe it's all in one piece. Wow. For five years. So I found it just about right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. She says she thinks she knows why her dad threw the bottle into the river. It says November 1926. His birthday is November 15th. I think he might have thrown this in the river on his 18th birthday. A bottle up from the depths that has now found its way home. It's like I found a lost treasure. That's kind of dope. I mean, he can probably do some shit like that. But, uh, well, well my handwriting is terrible, so they, they find, like... I mean, if I did something like that, man, who would? Why, why did this nigga throw this shit in, in the water, bro? Niggas just be polluting. Damn, really? you block guy. Yep. Damn, you block It's like, yo, man. It was something sentimental, too, bro. I always said something cool, like, yo. Tell, like, go live on my Twitter, on my Twitch, and say, I'm still around. And then they just keep jibbering that way. Throw this shit in the trash, man! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Deputy tows a burning car while listening to classical music. Look at this shit. Okay. This burning vehicle was way too close to a house. And to prevent a further disaster, a Minnesota sheriff's deputy had to do some quick thinking. When it didn't look like the fire extinguisher could put out all of You're the supposed to aim at the base. Deputy Finnegan the Sager County Sheriff's Department decided to use yeah, another no. tool, his own vehicle. Yeah, no. Oh, his own vehicle. Then he... Started the car and got exposed for it. Yo, that's what you be. That's what you be vibing to. Yo, it. Imagine it was like little knives or some shit, bro. Then again, hooked a tow strap to the rear bumper and pulled the fiery car away from the house. I am to something, yeah. From a major tragedy, and to stay calm in the process, how about a little classical music? Bro, I can hardly hear. Hero with a side of Mozart. What a dignified way to save a home. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. This is inside a That shit do be a vibe though. I ain't gonna lie. When we would have like study hall or we had to do some shit, the teacher would turn on some like that weird ass music. But I really fuck with it. What the fuck? I've been watching you for the longest and you're amazing and always putting a smile on my face. 
What is your name? Hug your girl in the bathroom stall? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, chat, I think this is absolutely hilarious. TikTok tries to stop the devious look trends. <laughs> Devious. TikTok, good luck, bro. Somebody got a devious lick on your whole headquarters. Shut your ass up, bro. Viral TikTok trend or criminal act? It's a criminal. It's, it's, it's literally a criminal crim 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 act, bro. It's both, according to officials. Students across the country have been sharing what they call devious licks or diabolical licks. <laughs> the way that shit, like, this shit is on the fucking news. <laughs> devious licks. She don't even know what that a lick is, bruh. I've been sharing what they call devious licks or diabolical licks that are wreaking havoc on schools. Uh, the viral videos depict as heroes the students who are stealing mirrors. I'm not gonna lie, man. This shit is absolutely funny. It this shit is absolutely news. funny. You know why I don't have a problem with this trend and why I can laugh at this? They ain't hurt nobody. <clears throat> they ain't hurt nobody, man. Some people might not know where their classes are because they're stealing the, ti the titles of the class off the wall. Some people might not be able to dry up their hands because they're stealing dry dryers and paper towel dispensers. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, this shit funny. They just stealing shit. Shit nobody really, you know. They hurt the janitors. They, they, they hurt the janitors and they hurt the school's budget. Because they gotta rebuy that shit. Crashing soap dispensers and towels, <laughs> stealing stalls, thefts, and vandals really are a disservice to the teachers and staff. How the fuck stall? do you steal a stall? Where are like, the people that walk around in the hallways, man? Or is nobody like in the classes seeing that they can walk by with a full. Bathroom stall. <laughs> anyway. Really don't need another headache if they come back to school in the midst of a continuing pandemic. We'd like to show you an example, but these videos are pretty hard to find because even TikTok says it's a trend that needs to stop. The company said on Twitter, we're removing content and redirecting hashtags and search results to our community mm. guidelines to discourage such behavior. Please be kind to your schools and teachers. It also posted mm. a screenshot of what you'll find if you search for devious likes. Ah, uh, come on! Share their videos. Will students give up trying to outdo each other? Yeah, because they can't get no clout off of it. Unless they just change the name of it. Man, come on, man. No, it's not L TikTok. Obviously, it's a W because they want to fucking stop this shit because it is ridiculous. But come on, man. If they don't, schools are also threatening severe disciplinary action for anyone caught taking part in the challenge. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Matsubano. It's like, you know, the mature side of me is like, I get it, I understand, and that was a good move. Actually smart to, like, just stop the instant clout, clout that they can get from it. Yeah. But, you know, the kid side of me is like, come on, man, we just want to see the videos. At least let us still search it up, bro. At least let us search it up and then start blocking you know, the word devious lick or some shit like that. Uh, but, I don't know, they'll probably retitle it or just change it to something else, man. The internet always finds a way. It always finds a way. Hey, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. That's it. You love the fashion. Hopefully y'all like this video. I didn't do much talking, but it's okay, man. Hopefully y'all like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe to me, which I want next. Man, we are out this thing. Man, y'all have a good one. Hopefully y'all like this video. I didn't do much talking, but it's okay, man. Hopefully y'all like this video. I didn't do much talking, but it's okay, man. Hopefully y'all like this video. I didn't do much talking, but it's okay, man. Hopefully y'all like this video